I think it's B. 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 I think you're right. I think you're right. And we are not right. Oh, we are. Okay, we're okay. B. Yeah, move the star around a little bit, so you got to scratch the whole thing to know. You can't cheat by like scratching a piece of it. Did you ask Calvin which, what he thought? Mistake innovators for so you know innovators don't have any opinion leadership, so they get them confused. Yep. Opinion leaders have this, innovators don't. Opinion leaders have good ideas. Wouldn't they both have good ideas? What is that? Why? No, no, nobody, nobody does what the innovator wants. They're this clique, right, that's out there by themselves. Okay, so opinion leaders, though, people want to be like them. So they've got followers. Yes, yes. Bring your book out. <laughs> Are we not allowed to use a book? No, you got your worksheets. I mean, you got everything, everything you need. With you? Where's your worksheet? I think I already gave it to you. Oh, do you want it back? I, I can get it. <laughs> Sorry? Kylie has. has your worksheet? Yes. Ask for your worksheet. Somebody make a call. There's no majority. Is, is this 47? Yeah, I said B. Okay. Okay, so can you eliminate anything from 47? Well, it can't be. Okay, so does all of the above include none of the above? Well, no. no. To be fair. Because they're not better. They're not? Well, they might be could, better. Well, they could be. But they, they in could some be ways, better. they could be better. They could be. Yeah. Are they cheaper? What does? What do you mean by less? What is your definition of not better? As, not as good. By less, you mean not as good. Yeah. Okay, but then it's cheaper. not A. So it could be cheaper, and it could be better, and it could be they're not as good because they're not as educated? So all those but they connect with the people better because... Well, that's one way they're better, right? Right. So that doesn't mean they're less. They less in some ways. Maybe they have be as ed they're not as educated. Okay, so to me, that's all the above. Sounds good. You don't get after two. Hang on this, correct, Bill? Yeah. yeah. When you're done, stay in your groups. I just like to have your scratch sheets. Still working? Okay. It's not all, so it's something specific. 
it's not cooperatives and it's not all of them. So equipment, seed dealers, and rollers. You don't remember reading about that? Not specifically. Okay. Ty, I, I, I don't need that. You don't want this? You gave me your scorecard, right? You gave me your... <laughs> yeah. I want to see how they did. That's pretty good. That's good. Let's go in your official file. Just, again, stay in, stay in your groups. Some some dialogue. I don't know. If, oh, and it's not it's not following. It's just on you all. No, just whatever yours. Did you, did you turn in or this is yours? The double is there are two. Oh, okay. So just count the number, the number you got right. I was trying to think like slot, slot machines, like double bonus poker, double, double something. That's that's what I want to hear. I remember reading. I remember reading. Okay, done. Chase. Okay. So you got forty six. Okay, so let you're in the last one. Okay, so so somebody should be able to say, I remember reading what? What do you remember reading? About paraprofessional, paraprofessionals. Think of them like as a teacher's aide as a paraprofessional. A teacher what? Teacher's aide, a, a graduate teaching assistant. So, are they Are they not as good? Correct. Okay. Are they... Cheaper? Yeah. Are they sometimes better? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoops. Turn my back on it again. No, it goes in the Dropbox. We'll take a picture of it. Well, if it's, I know it's there. It's homework. It, it's there. I didn't, I didn't lose it. You didn't get it. You got it there on time. Kylin's in an extension class, so she should be able to get this right. Local, state, and federal. 
Now the double bonus. Dark chicken. We use poultry science expert to revolutionize raising chickens in Nigeria by introducing the modern poultry farm method to the feeding of forage grain. We had millions of chicks flown in from US hatcheries. A few weeks after this three year this three year assignment ended. Do you remember reading that case study? I saw it on page 376. Yeah. <laughs> That's when he called me the chief officer. <laughs> what did you think? Oh, Hopefully, see. Could be. Chicken was served at nearly every meal. It's not bad. Okay. I put you to change agents to continue to fall. It's not bad. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll come up here to you. Thank you. You're a winner. You're a winner. Look at 11. Wow. Wow. You guys are so you guys are good. Done. Scratch. Yes, um, I put it right here. Okay, can they? So, so A is what you think? Less. Okay. Are they cheaper? Yes, probably. Oh. They're less qualified. So, a, so B is right too. Can they be better? Like a teacher's aide, could a teacher's aide be ever better than the teacher? Based on the opinion of a person, yeah. Could, could Lauren ever be better than me? Could, yeah. Potentially, yeah. She could be. Some, someday. So what is okay. it? Oh. So well, if you, if, you, if you think A, B, and C are right, then it must be. Yeah. Right. She'll tell you. Yeah. She'll tell you. Well, there's two. That's what I meant by double. I was trying to think like a slot machine. Will you add up how many you have? Where's group three? Oh, do I have your sheet? We did. I think I did. You know, three. I don't have three. Oh, maybe it's here. Yeah, sorry. Waiting on this group. Just for a little bit. Yeah. We get to stay in the group just a little bit. After three marks, we get nothing. Right. right. It's just. After the second one, you don't get anything. Yeah, they're both worth one. So you could get 12. Okay, thank you. I want, thank you so much. Thank you for being quiet. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Try the veal. Um, in this chapter, it's all about change agents. And Carly asked for your homework for Thursday, no class, you have a, a worksheet that deals with a change agent, corn and custom. So there's a worksheet, put that in the Dropbox, take a picture of it, scan it, recreate it, whatever, but something, put that in the Dropbox by 1030 on Thursday. And I'm sorry, but cheat you out of your education. We won't have class on Thursday. That'll allow me to start spring break a little bit earlier. But it's all about change agents. So change agents, the one, the, the, the one that we just can't escape is a cooperative extension educator is a change agent, right? What's the difference between a change agent and an opinion leader? Opinion leaders have actually adopted, Hunter, that's, that's right. They have actually adopted, so that's one way you'd think of it. Okay. 
Missed it. They're more respected. Possibly, they could be more respected. They try to get people to adopt an innovation. Opinion leaders aren't trying to get anybody to adopt. You just adopt because you respect them, because you think they're the ones to check with. They're the ones that know. But they could care less whether you adopt or not. Okay? The change agents a hold of the opinion leaders, but they don't to the Yes, think about the opinion leaders, okay, people that are early adopters and early majority to a certain extent, they have a lot of contact with these change agents. Okay? Now what I'd like to do in your, in your group, I'd like for you to come up with one, two, or three examples of change agents. We said cooperative extension educator, yes, their job, and you might think of it as their job is to get you to try things. But who are some positions, who are some people in positions where their job is trying to get people to change? Now, there's one caveat to that, and that is whether you adopt or not, they don't make any more money. Okay? So a change agent, if it's a cooperative extension educator and we're trying to get people to put mulching blades on their lawnmowers, if everyone in the community buys a mulching lawnmower, they don't get paid any more money. Okay? So I'd like for in your group, I'd like you to find one, two, three examples of change agents beyond cooperative extension. You would have to talk to each other in your group. trying to make happen? They're trying to change. What kind the, of change? The community. How so? Uh, law, policy. You need a very specific example. The mayor? Yeah, no, that, that would be, but what are they trying to, if people are going to say, well, tell me why that is, what is it they're trying to get people to change? Okay, so if you come up with it, then the rest of the class go on, no, well, tell me what it is they're trying to get you to change. So whether it's a behavior or a product or an adoption, you got to justify this. What do we got? Teachers. Well, salespeople make more money, don't they? Non-commission. non, non yeah. Gosh, they're so <laughs> The rest of the class is class. The rest of the class is class. <laughs> you guys are so smart. We have, we have one bunch. They have three over here. Ten. Okay, got something? Yes, got something? Okay, now's the time when you'll stop talking. Now's the time when you'll stop talking. Okay. The intelligentsia here wants to save theirs for last because they think they have the three best. Dusty, what do you have? Just your best one. I'm sorry? If, if they, they want to change a politician's mind, is that what you're saying? And if, that, if they're successful, will they be paid more money? Okay, I don't like that one then. You might come back to it, but I don't like the what's number two? Um A biologist? And specifically what might they try and get people to stop doing or change? 
Could we, would you be okay if we said it's an ecologist? And an ecologist might be trying to get people to recycle, to not dump uh, paint down the storm drain, uh, all kinds of things, uh, use energy saving light bulbs, excellent. Okay, what kind of change are they wanting? Okay, so you're suggesting that a, a, a politician is the change, but, but, but they are the ones that would do that. Can I have number two? Uh, Sorry? Religion, like trying to Re Any religious leaders? <coughs> and an example is something they're trying to get their followers to do? Example? Join a church, church. Just to join? How do I get more people to, oh. to show up and then give money? Great. Okay. Back row. Chase, what we got? Uh, so a disc jockey? Okay, so a disc jockey is trying to get you to do what? To listen to their radio station? Can I have number two? A protester. And what do they want, whatever they're protesting? And what, in, what incentives might a protester offer to get you to, uh, to change their, your mind? Okay, well, let's put it in real practical terms. Uh, Oklahoma teachers are threatening, threatening to go on strike, okay? And, and what, and so they want to force legisla the legislature to give them a raise. Okay, so what are they going to, how are they going to get that to happen? Jace? I can't hear you. No, that's what they're going to do. How are they going to get what they want? Yes, but how do they force the legislators to give them what they want? By not working. And we promise to go back to work if you'll give us some money. But until you do, we're not working, okay? Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have, um, I think it's what I said, but specifically maybe a mayor or elected official. Okay, what's next? Police officers, they enforce change in the communities. <coughs> specifically, what might somebody in law enforcement want to try a change in behavior? Wear your seatbelt. <coughs> Don't drink and drive. Uh, put your kid in a car seat. Don't speed. Don't do drugs. Oh, I will respect myself. Missed it. Hunter, what? Wasn't it good? Okay. okay. So certainly police might try and want a behavioral change. Okay. What do we got here? Public health work. And what do they want to happen? Wash your hands. Would like you to wash your hands after you use the restroom, wash your hands before you eat, wear a condom if you're going to engage in, in sex, get tested for, get, get vaccinations, get tested if you haven't been using a condom, birth control, all those kinds of things. Okay, from this group? What kind of change? Like changing the mechanics and like how you shoot or something. Okay, um, a positive outlook. Somebody might want to, I want to encourage lifelong activity. You know, say, what is the, why do we have physical education or why did we used to have physical education classes 
in school. So hopefully, later on, you will be physically active. And that's what's so screwy about the physical education programs that Pam and I went through, because we did things like dodgeball and basketball and volleyball, where lots of people watched other people play. And if you weren't athletic, you didn't want to do it. And so a progressive coach would say, why aren't we doing things like cross-country skiing up north? Why aren't we doing things like cross-country running? Okay. Why aren't we doing things like ninja warrior training? Okay. Why aren't we doing bowling, archery, lifelong sports, golf, instead? Anyway. So we may try and encourage people to eat healthy if you're a health teacher. Okay. So we have all these eyes. want to make sure you don't, don't confuse opinion leaders who do stuff and it just happens with change agents whose job it is to get people to change. Okay? Okay, if you come back to your seats. Okay, a couple, a couple that I wrote down that you didn't identify from an agricultural perspective. If you work for the Natural Resource Conservation Service, did you? And if you did, what kind of change are you trying to bring about if you were a natural resource conservation specialist? We're trying to get you to reduce the amount of fertilizer application. We're trying to get you to use soil saving uh, practices like chisel plowing or no-till. A uh, school I taught in, a big push by NRCS at that time was for no-till. And so they rented a tractor and a planter and it was checked out to people in the county. You could check it out and you could try this no-till planter for one day and then it went to somebody else. And so they paid for the tractor and the planter and then you got to plant five acres, 10 acres, 20 acres of no-till corn without having any of that investment, okay? And so there are things that an NRCS technician might do. Teachers, you identify which is good. Doctors, okay? When I go to the doctor, he's trying to make me have change in my behavior, less salt, less fat, more activity. Again, what he tells me is activity that I do now will keep me out of diapers in my 80s, which is a good motivator. Um, I put on here any non-governmental organization, we talk about NGOs, so we go into communities and we try and create to create change. That's our job. Lots of people are employed in different communities by the Gates Foundation and those might be trying to bring about change. One of those changes is to try and get high school students who are ready to take more college classes. Okay, And through their efforts we are blurring the line between high school and college. Okay? So in Tulsa, there are several communities where you can go for your junior, senior year and you graduate with your associate's degree already. Okay? We have students that come in with 30 or 40 hours of transfer. And so this student, rather than, I don't, I don't know if any of you remember your last year of college or last year of high school, for many people it was, I'm not doing anything important. Well, why don't I just start my college career then? Or if I'm not going to go to college, why don't I start working? And so, again, there's an effort by a huge foundation which made their money um, through Microsoft who wants to bring about some change. So lots of foundations do that also. Okay. Now, one of your questions had to do with paraprofessional aides. Okay. And the best example, as I said to a couple groups, the best example is a teacher's aide. Okay. Lauren is a teacher's aide in which she's very capable of taking over class if 
uh, if she wanted to work harder. But teacher's aides are paraprofessional aides. They're not quite the professional, okay? And so in her case, what is she not quite? Do you have any idea? She what? She, she doesn't have her PhD. She's working on it, but she doesn't have it. So she doesn't have that credential, okay? In the public school system, if you had a teacher's aide ever in school, why were they the teacher's aide, not the teacher? They were working towards that goal. Maybe. They may be trying to become a teacher, or they may have been uh, a mother or father that's underemployed in the community and says, I can grade papers, I can get Play-Doh ready for the kindergartners, I can do whatever. Okay? So they don't have the qualifications. Okay? In medicine, okay, I'm not the doctor, who am I? I go to the clinic, who do you see? Lots of times you don't see... You see a nurse practitioner or a licensed uh, practical nurse. And so we've, we've created this, not quite, but they can, they can do almost the same thing. But their qualifications aren't as high. So that's the part that they are less. Okay? Now we said that they are in some ways they're better. How are they better in all those examples? Teacher's aides, TA, licensed practical nurse, nurse practitioner. Dental hygienist usually. Yeah, and then the, doc, the dentist is actually there for literally like two minutes. Comes in, at, says, yep. They're better at like, I mean, I wouldn't say better, they can finish like you would say. Well, that's the, that's the cheaper part. Yeah, I don't get it though. They didn't go to six years of evil dental school to inflict pain. They just, they went through a one or two year program. So they, they cost less, okay. They aren't as qualified. Okay, so they're not, at, they, they couldn't maybe pull a tooth or diagnose something complicated that the dentist could. Okay, in the teacher situation, maybe the teacher really needs to design the curriculum. Okay, the teacher's aide isn't really prepared to design the curriculum, but can grade papers. Okay, now what's the better part? In what way, in any of those situations, is that person better? Well, they're not better in that way. They're, well, it's possible they would have more experience. So I'm a first-year teacher. I'm 21 years old, and I've got the first-grade class, and I've got 30 little hellions running around, pulling each other's hair, okay, wiping their nose in somebody's coat, all those kind of things. Man, what I really need is somebody who's been a mom or a dad. See how I did that gender thing? I didn't, okay. Right? And so I need somebody who's like 35 or 40 that's been through all this that can tell me, hey, this is what you need to do. So in some ways, they might be better. Okay, what about in medicine? Talk about this practical, this licensed practical nurse or this nurse practitioner versus the doctor. In what way might they be better? And they could possibly be better at cleaning teeth if they have more in, in, a den, in a dentist situation, they've specialized. They're great at cleaning teeth, and we can do it quicker, so they're better in that way. What about a doctor at your sick? You're going to the clinic. Is there any way they'd be better than the doctor? They'd be better at explaining the tickets to you. Yeah. Doctors, like, way above you. For whatever reason, the doctor has no, has no bedside manner. But this person has great bedside manner, and they can explain it to you and, and reassure you where the doctor just is not good at that, possibly. What about from a teacher perspective? Oh, we already talked about that. Lauren could be better that she's closer to your age and her hair is falling out and... She can identify with cell phones and Twitter and all those things, possibly. Okay. We've talked about cooperative extension. Does cooperative extension deal in this way at all? Are there any paraprofessionals or professional aides within the cooperative extension system? You don't have to be enrolled to answer this. I, I would say yes. And what do we call them? We'll call them assistants. So when, when money is tight, this happens. So cooperative extension, money is tight. And so who are we going to hire? They have to have a college degree. We've got to pay them thirty-five dollars or $40,000. We could pay somebody just about $20,000, somebody, again, that's underemployed, but might be very capable of working with a chicken project or working with a dress review or putting together share of the fund. They could be great at that. Okay. They don't have the qualifications. In some ways, they might be better. In some ways, they're less. For sure, they're cheaper. Okay? 
And what Rogers talks about in this says, be careful, those things are all true, but they, they don't have the same qualifications and we gotta be careful that we don't, we, we don't um, give them too much credit. If we do, then the nurse practitioner is uh, designing our cancer treatment and we may not be comfortable with that. Okay, okay. They talk about mystery clients, okay. How are mystery clients used? Pam? They go into a, like a clinic or, or, and they, they just act like they're just regular clients, patients. Regular patients yeah. And they evaluate how they are treated and they go back and make that report. It's like being a mystery shopper. Like a mystery shopper. And so anyone work in a restaurant? Retail. Retail. Do you know if they use mystery shoppers? And what's the retail? Can you tell us? Okay, they, so you don't know, do you know later whether, whether somebody came yeah, in or not? We get a score back, we get an email, and then they, uh, we have like all things, like first impression, score before it on any tag, did we greet them, did we check on them? Okay. How did you get paid to be a mystery client? Like, how did you get that job? I don't know, except in back of like Rolling Stone magazine, you can usually, be careful, be careful if you have to send in like $250 in order to become the mystery shopper. In a restaurant, would it be helpful? If I own the restaurant, why would I want to have a mystery diner? I want to know how they, they treat people, and I might have lots of different people. I might have a girl with red hair. I might have an African-American gentleman. I might have a boy with long hair. I might have somebody that wears a hat in a restaurant. I can't imagine, but they might. And I want to know how they treat people, okay? And so uh, here's the problem. I'm a change agent and I have all this, these people working for me. How do I know whether they're doing a good job? And so the idea of the mystery client, I'm trying to see. I've got to kind of check up on people and see if that, if that works. Okay. Lastly, Chicken Davis is, is uh, profiled as the case study. And George, you remember Chicken Davis. Chicken Davis is an American poultry expert and he goes to Nigeria and he says, it's like Key West, Florida. There's chickens running everywhere, but they're scrawny. People need protein. And he said, why don't I bring in American poultry system here where we cage layers and we feed uh, birds corn and they grow to be six pounds and we kill them and then eat their flesh. He said, man, we gotta do that. And he did that and three years later a virus came in and wiped out all those birds except the ones that were native, they survived. Pam? Would he be suffering from a pro-innovation bias? Well, certain, certainly there's some pro-innovation bias, and that's what we have as, as far as Americans. We're from the government and we're here to help you. Okay, so I show up at a th third world nation and I say, oh, you people are plowing with, uh, with horses and with oxen, what you need are tractors. Okay, so I'm going to raise a bunch of money and we're going to buy you all tractors. And so then six months after the tractors are delivered and they run out of oil or they haven't been maintained, they're sitting in a pile of rust because they weren't ready for that innovation. And so in this case, Roger says, hey, we got to think about sustainability. We got to think about after we introduce this innovation, how's it going to keep going? How is this innovation going to transfer to the next generation of people? And so when we talk about plumping nut, the peanut substitute, we talk about the daughter-in-law who doesn't speak, if we talk about the uh, universal nut sheller, all of those were infrastructure to where we don't give people things, we kind of give them the start of things, and then we want some business to take off from there. So we want somebody that's going to make these peanut shellers and sell the parts and do the maintenance. Not that we have to wait to have this shipment come from the United States and hopefully people will give us some more. We talked about the, the pump that would blow smoke down in the rat holes so we could kill more rats, okay? We have to be careful we don't just give people things so we ask them that they would, they would actually um, buy those and have some long-term loans, okay? Mr. Kinsane, Bill Professional Aid, hetero change agents. Okay, questions. Connor students, why this tape? We have 13 students that are taking this class via distance, and so they, 
watch class remotely. They turn things in on D2L. That's uh,